And pork and beans. Good old pork and beans. Everybody's mm. probably ate pork and beans in their life. Of course. We've got this in a greased 9 by 13 casserole dish. Mm -hmm. Now we've got five boneless pork chops. Mm. We're going to lay them right on top of your pork and beans. Now, did you wash these pork chops? Yes. Who knows Did if you're supposed clean? to. They look, you know, they look clean to me. Yeah. So now you've got those down. Take salt and pepper. You put a little salt on them. A little pepper. Mmm. Okay, now you're going to take one tablespoon of this regular mustard. Okay. I'm not sure what this is about. Found this recipe and thought, well, that seems simple enough for somebody I mean, to fix. Seems like a good idea to me. You're gonna coat your pork chops with your mustard. Boy, don't that look good. It does look good. I'm not a big mustard fan, but maybe it does some kind of something for it. Maybe somebody could tell us what the mustard yeah. does for it. Okay, we got that done. Now we're gonna take a piece of bacon. We're gonna lay it right here on our pork chops. I like that. I love a good piece of bacon. Oh, yes. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, I guess we have one extra. We guess you'll eat that one. I'll eat that one, yep. Okay, well, if not any of the dogs, they mm. won't. Yum. Okay, then in a bowl, I've mm -hmm. got a half a cup of brown sugar, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put a half a cup of ketchup okay. in there with that. And we're gonna mix that together. Looks like we're making some sort of sauce here. Yes, that's gonna top our pork chops. That bacon's good. You can't go wrong with bacon. You, can, you really can't. Man, I know sausage, but I like my bacon. All right, what do we so do next? Now we're gonna take our, this and kind of pour it over. Oh. Our pork chops. Hmm. You know, a lot of people make baked beans where they add brown sugar, yep. ketchup. Yep. So maybe that, you could probably put another can of beans in here. Mm -hmm. But I only have one can, so. That's okay. Beggars. Some people might not have two cans, you know? Yeah, we're just using what we got. Mm-hmm. Don't look too scrumptious, but I hope it's gonna taste scrumptious. It doesn't look great, but honestly, I, I don't think you can get wrong, wrong with any of the ingredients here. No, now you're gonna take this and you're gonna bake it at 325 for 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. All right, let's see this thing. Okay. Oh, wow. It kinda looks good. like meatloaf. It kinda, you know, in the topping we did, it was kinda like meatloaf. Yeah. All right, let's cut into this, see if it's tender. It looks pretty good, though. Yes, it does. Let's see. Maybe right here with this bacon. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is tender. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, I smell that mustard. Here, cut me Ooh. off a piece of that. I'm gonna try a bite. That looks that good. That does smell good. Here, wait a minute, let's get you a little beans. Get a little bean on there. All right, All right here. Yeah, let me have this. I care if I borrow this? No. Mm -mm. Okay. The beans are delicious, but they we need one more can. These two cans of beans. Probably two cans of baked beans. Instead of one. I don't know about that mustard. Mmm. The mustard's good though. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's really good. 